I'm Lazy Man Prepper and today I'm talking about the Battle Horse Knives Bushcrafter. So I'm down in Arkansas this week doing a little pig hunting and I decided to bring this knife with me. This is the Bushcrafter by Battle Horse Knives, BHK. As you know, I'm not a, I prefer tactical knives. So for me to carry around a bushcraft style knife is a little weird. But I gotta tell you, it carries nice on the hip. I'll show you the sheath in a minute. It's got a dangler sheath. Uh, you don't even know it's there. It feels really good. I like the dangler sheath. I have it on a belt. It drops down below my shirt level. Very secure. I think I'd like a little more hanging out the top because there's only about a three quarters of an inch right there. The sheath is very high quality. Double stitched. You can run it through your belt, let the dangler hang, and you can run it right through the belt directly. The handle on this knife is amazing. It is micarta. It has uh, red kydex inserts between the blade and the handles. It has fisheye rivets on it, and it has a lanyard loop. I'm the fifth one to review this knife in the uh, outdoor arena ring and it's still pretty sharp. We don't sharpen the knives when we send them around the arena. The first guy gets it sharp and whatever the fifth guy gets is what he gets. And it is still really decently sharp. It's a, it's a really quality knife. Battle Horse Knives Custom makes all of these knives. Uh, if you want one, you're looking at a uh, around a 60-day turnaround time, which isn't bad for a custom-built knife. You could pick out all the the color of the handles, inserts, uh, blade grind, blade point. You can choose anything you want from them, and they'll build it for you, which is really nice. Let's see how well it does at skinning. I just happen to have a snake here. This is uh, about a used to be a four footer water moccasin. My son stepped on it while we were walking out there and took two 12 gauge blasts, but we got it. Still more to go. So I got about an hour to kill before we head back out pig hunting. And I got bored, so I think what I'm going to do is take this water moccasin skin that we shot this morning. And I'm going to whittle a cane and slide the snake skin onto this stick. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere on here.
start by taking all the bark off. This could be real close. Okay, it's too fat at the end. Sorry, but I had to rush through it. It was the skin was drying out. How, how cool does that look? I cut about eight inches off that tail, and when we took him, I guarantee you there was another foot on the end of this thing. I, I bet he was five feet long. Yeah, let me take this bark off. I thought I wanted to leave it, but I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna slide the skin down cut this and then wrap the skin over the top. I batoned the end off.
So if you like this video, click the like button, post a comment below, let me know what you think about it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Head back to, uh, I'll put a link below to the Outdoor Arena's webpage where you can see who's a member and all the videos that are up on the different uh, gear that's going around. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Lazy Man Prepper, out. are all about getting back or uh, surviving different situations. There's Cody's and there's mine. Lazy Man Prepper, out.